Hi, I'm Joseph Junta, the music director and conductor of the Des Moines Symphony Academy, and I am thrilled to open our 81st season of concerts with the Des Moines Symphony. It's a season we're calling Junta Celebrates Bernstein. It's my 30th anniversary of the orchestra, and I couldn't be more proud of the accomplishments we've made together and what's to come in the future. You know, if my teacher, Leonard Bernstein, had been alive today, he would have been 100 years old. And that was sort of the start of my thinking about doing something to honor this wonderful artist and friend of mine. Our season pays great tribute and great homage to him and his work as a conductor, as a pianist, and as a composer. Of course, we're playing West Side Story and Candide, his most popular works, but also some works like Chichester Psalms with the Luther College Choir and Prelude, Fugue, and Riffs, which was actually written for the Woody Herman Band. That band disbanded, and as a result, Benny Goodman played it on a concert that I actually heard live in Carnegie Hall in 1955. We're also going to play some On the Town and his Divertimento and maybe a few other works that uh, may be a little unusual or new to all of you. So we've got lots to celebrate, lots of his music, and of course other pieces that were important to him. At this first concert we're playing not only Candide but also the fifth piano concerto of Beethoven which he played and conducted many times himself and the magnificent Mahler First Symphony. And I would go even so far to say that if it hadn't been for Leonard Bernstein, we probably would not be playing the nine Mahler symphonies in our country. He was the one that brought this music back in the late 50s and early 60s to our public. The Symphony No. 1 by Mahler has become sort of a signature piece with me and the Des Moines Symphony. It was the piece that I auditioned for the orchestra in January of 1988, and I've performed it three other times, 1988, 98, 08, and now 2018. So it doesn't take long for you to figure out that if I'm here in 10 more years, we'll also play it. But it's a great piece of music and it's one that I had the great opportunity of studying with some of the most wonderful Mahler interpreters of the last century. George Schulte, Klaus Tenstedt, and of course, Leonard Bernstein. Every piece of Mahler is overwhelming and every piece of Mahler that we play seems to turn concert going into an event. And that's exactly what we hope to provide to our audience this coming weekend. We'll begin the program with the Overture to Candide, which is going to be very exciting and thrilling for all of us. The brilliant young pianist by the name of Enin Barneton will play the Emperor Concerto by Beethoven. I first heard about Enin Barneton about 10 years ago. One of my trips to the Aspen Music Festival in the summer, he played a recital and I was very impressed and I have been following his career ever since. Enin has gone on to play with virtually every major orchestra in the world. And uh, most recently, I heard him play with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. He played the Gershwin Concerto in F. It was very exciting for, uh, for me to hear this piece, and the audience just went wild. So we look forward to having him here in Des Moines for a few days and playing this great last concerto, the Emperor Concerto Number no. 5 by Beethoven. I look forward to seeing all of you as we open our season, the 81st season of the Des Moines Symphony, on September 22nd and 23rd in the Civic Center of Greater Des Moines.